think I did it. I think I've actually solved the problem. Um, this whole, we gotta go get ISIS problem. Um, and actually, I think I just, all right, here it goes, ready? The Republicans, the Democrats, the independents, everybody should be able to get on board with this one, all right? Um, we've got to go get ISIS. So the president signs an executive order, because taking it through Congress, just that shit takes way too long. The president signs an executive order, stomps all over the Constitution, but he does it for your good. He signs an executive order saying that anybody of any age can sign up to go fight ISIS or ISIL or the terrorists tomorrow. You sign on the dotted line today, you leave tomorrow. You get to take the place of one of my brothers and sisters who've been there for the last 5, 10, 15 years. Right? So now you get to put your money where your mouth is as an armchair quarterback. We're going to give you the guns. We're going to give you everything you could possibly carry on your back. You're going to march through the... It's a fucking desert. You know that, right? There's not like... There's no... It's it's a desert full of caves. It's just, I don't know. The only thing we're really over there fighting for is oil. But that's... Forget that. Um, but you get to go. If Obama signs Executive Order 2016, the Mad Matt Order, we'll call it. And then you guys get to get on board the plane, the, the ship, the whatever, and you get to go tomorrow to Syria, Afghanistan, whatever, where they're beheading the Christians and they're... And, and you who've been screaming online and making all these goat humper and camel jockey, uh, all Muslims must die, death to Islam, all of you fuckers, you get to go, lawyers, doctors, uh, the, the garbage man, the, the postman, the, the dude who stocks the shelves at Kmart, Walmart, the car washer guy, the, the dude who runs the cash register at the local Dunkin' Donuts, everybody who, gets to, who wants to go, gets to go. See, the thing about ISIS is they don't have a recruitment age. You don't have to be over the age of 18 or under the age of 42 to sign up for their campaign or whatever it is that the hell that, that I don't, I'm not even sure how they recruit. But I regularly see you right-wingers putting up pictures of kids holding AK-47 saying, while well, we're not teaching the Bible, these guys are teaching to kill. Okay, so you want to bring your five-year-old with you? They want to sign up and go? They go too. Everybody gets to go. Anybody who wants to go gets to go. We're going to create thousands and thousands of jobs based on the millions and millions of people that I see completely all over Facebook and the Internet and Twitter and everything yelling about how we have to go get these motherfuckers. Go! Now you can go. I'm going to sign the order. And you get to go tomorrow. Seriously. You still want that shit? Or are you just talking shit? Because if you really wanted that, we've just created jobs. We've just brought home our veterans. We're going to, the veterans get a fucking five-year pass. They can have whatever they want. You're a United States veteran. You walk in and say, I was in fucking Fallujah, motherfucker. And you can have anything on the shelf in my grocery store. That's it. Because the government's not going to take care of you. So we're going to have to. But it doesn't matter because somebody else just got a job. Because all these lazy motherfuckers. Now they got jobs, you're fighting ISIS and showing us how it's done, and when you're done marching through Syria, Turkey, Afghanistan, uh, Iraq, when you're done doing that, we'll have all this new space to build new mini malls, right? More jobs! And we'll be sitting on the oil. So, there it is. I've just created thousands of jobs. I've brought home and taken care of all of our veterans, and I've given you the opportunity to put your money where your mouth is. Now all I need you to do is get on board with backing up the shit you're talking and actually going to go get ISIS. Remember, no shooting women or children, no raping, no pillaging, no plundering, no beheading, no influx of your religion. You just get to go kill the bad guy. If you really think that this is somehow call of duty and that when a soldier dies, they rematerialize back at home base, you are welcome to try that shit out for yourself. Executive Order 2612, the Mad Matt Order. You get to go to ISIS and bring the fight to them, just like you demand we do with our soldiers.